right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play audio from your phone to your Windows 10 computer through Bluetooth. So this works for Android and iOS. All right, let's get started. All right, so before you start anything in the video, um, I would check to make sure your Windows 10 is updated to the latest version. And make sure your computer has Bluetooth, because if it doesn't, this is not going to work. All right, and now that we got that out of the way, you're going to go down to your search bar, and you're going to type in store. And you should see Microsoft Store, just open that up. And then from here, we're going to go to search and type in Bluetooth audio. And you should see Bluetooth audio receiver, click that. And then yours is going to say get here. Let's click on get and then you should see install. And you can click install and then it will install. All right, now that we've got that installed, you can exit out, you can get out of here. We don't need this anymore. Um, so we're, let's go down to the search again. We're going to type in settings, open that up. We're going to go to devices and add a Bluetooth device and hit the first one there, Bluetooth. And make sure you have your, your device close by and open the settings in your device and go to Bluetooth. And for me, I'm connecting to my iPad, so I'm going to select classy iPad. And it's going to come up with a six digit pin. Um, you should see something similar on the device that you're trying to connect to. So on my iPad, that same pin came up, and I hit connect, or pair. All right, and we're connected so we can move on to the next step. All right, and if you come down to your um, start menu, right there, you should see Bluetooth audio receiver here and recently added. But if you don't, you can search for it. So we'll do that here. And Bluetooth audio, and it should come up right there. You can click that. And here, I connected my iPad. So I'll click my iPad and hit Open Connection. That's going to allow it to stream the audio from the device to Windows 10. And now we can test it out. 